welcome back to the channel. So right here we have my 2006 Infiniti G35 with a 2013 G37 IPL front end conversion. So you guys can see G35 rear end. Yeah. The custom animation on the tail lights. As you guys can see, G37 front end conversion. Look at that. So today guys, I'm gonna be going over all the mods that I have on my car before I start tearing it down for version four. So this is version, version three uh, right now. So uh, we're gonna be going over everything, interior, exterior, and engine base. So you guys will get the update of every single thing that this car has. We slowly get into it and let's start off with the front end. So as you guys can see, this is a G37 front end conversion with a custom radiator that I made. You guys can go back into my youth old videos and see how I did all this. But uh, yeah, custom radiator support with OEM IPL G37 front bumper, Alpha Rex headlights. And these headlights are like the thousand dollar ones, not the cheaper, uh, what do you call that? The Amazon ones. So these are actually super bright. As you guys can see that, how they light up. Unfortunately, these are not sequential headlights, so you don't have the lighting bulb like doing that little animation. It's just those top ones that do the blinking when you turn your uh, when you have your turn signal on. But other than that, great quality headlights. Definitely recommend if you're trying to do something else, unless you're try trying to get retrofitted. But uh, I recommend these over the cheaper Amazon ones for sure. But that's the headlights definitely good quality i've had these for two years already and as you guys can see they're not yellowing or hazing up or cracking or anything so again quality headlights alpha rex you guys can get those from outcast garage for sure and then we have ipl carbon fiber splitter from outcast garage made specifically for the ipl bumper so there we have that. And then we have, uh, they, there's multiple companies that make this hood, but this is this one specifically is from uh, Carbon Creations. Shout out to Corey, he hooked it up with the hood when I was doing the conversion. So this is a carbon hood, the AMS hood, I think they call it. As you guys can see, it's carbon fiber. I wrapped it and then left the vents in carbon. So AMS, VIS makes the same hood, so you guys could get that as well. But again, this one's uh, Carbon Creations. VIS, I hear, is has better fitment. Um, Carbon Creations, you kind of need to play a little bit with it, but as you guys can see, I kind of made everything fit around the hood when I was doing the front end conversion. And then from here, let's see. We have the custom metal vented fenders that I made myself. Uh, definitely a lot of custom work to make these. Uh, it was kind of a design off the Fly One fenders. As you guys can see, it has the fins, all metal. So this top section is the G37 fender, and then this back section is the G35, and then it was all welded together and made into one fender. But that's basically what the front end is. And how you know it just makes it look so much more aggressive than the G35 front end, but look at that. So let's move on. We got the wheels. So these wheels are AG wheels, 19s by 11, front and rear. So fronts are 19s by 11 plus nine. Rears are 19s by 11, negative 10. But as you guys can see, I had to like really pull out my fender because it's supposed to be like leveled up with this and then I have it hella pulled out and I'm running like negative 
three or five camber and then when it's aired out it's like a negative eight so you guys can see that tilt it but definitely had to do a lot of fender rolling and pulling to make this fit but again you guys can see that it's supposed to be lined up right here going straight but i have it pulled out but ag wheels look at that 19s by 11 negative 10 in the rear 19s by 11 plus 9 in the front but we might be trading these wheels out for another set of wheels uh with less spokes more of a sp five spoke look but we'll see we'll find that out later on you guys will see a video about that to see if i go through with it um but yeah these wheels might be changed out lug nuts just some uh lug nuts i bought aftermarket gold and then uh, yeah so that's basically the wheels ag wheels and then before i keep moving on to something else we got oem side skirts with tg works carbon fiber side splitters so tg works makes these carbon fiber side splitters for the this car they these also fit g37s as well so tg works carbon splitters side splitters and then before i keep moving on to the rear i did want to say i do have akibono big brake kit on this car i did uh, i bought the brackets i think from concept z or z1 motorsport i'm not exactly sure but yeah these are akibonos with z1 two-piece rotors kind of hard to tell but these are two-piece rotors super expensive rotors but that's the reason why i kind of want to swap these wheels out just for a five spoke look so i could actually powder coat the middle part to match with the brakes so i might be changing the color on the brakes too but like that way you guys could see the brakes i like being able to see the big rotor in the back whereas uh you know with these wheels it's kind of like hard to see anything back there but Akibono's front and rear and then we have custom painted uh mirror holders so these are just painted gloss black and then we have carbon fiber mirror caps that we are going to be swapping out later on for actual carbon overlay uh mirrors so that's that top we have it wrapped in gloss black same with the weather strips we wrap those in gloss black as well and then in the back right here right away car carbon tg works trunk so this is tg works own design super aggressive as you guys can see that super aggressive duck build trunk i have it wrapped this is a full carbon one and i just left the strip on the edge in carbon fiber exposed but tg works carbon trunk And then I know a lot of people, a lot of people always ask about this. So let me turn on the light real quick. A lot of people always ask about the diffuser. So this diffuser is from Poland and it's got that opening for the 370Z fog light, rear fog light. So that's a 370Z rear fog light. You can find that in Amazon. Just literally just type in 370Z uh, rear fog light and this thing will show up. But diffuser is from poland the guy only sells them on facebook that's the only place i know where to contact that guy so you guys would have to look for that on facebook and then we have the custom tail lights made from unique led i have a couple leds going out but i'm gonna send these to get redone soon i've had these for almost three years now so uh, after three years they finally started giving out a little bit but gonna send these to get back repaired and let me put on the animation for you guys so you guys can see how they look so there goes that little animation definitely something nice to have if you actually go to car shows and stuff like that how they just fill in the middle kind of an R34 GTR style tail light definitely looks super dope 
So those are made by Unique LED. And then of course we have, as you guys can see, it stick out by a lot because these are slightly extended, but we have, so it's full motor dyne all the way from the headers back. So motor dyne R pipes and then full motor dyne exhaust all the way to the back. Definitely sounds so cool. I'll show you guys a couple clips right here. So that's motor dyne exhaust again. You guys can contact uh, SoCal Z or Outcast Garage for a set of R pipes and for full motor dyne exhaust. exterior wise that is it guys so we're gonna start jumping into uh the interior and show you guys how what i have done on the interior as well so interior right away we have these bride vorga seats key out of the way so these are bride vorgas with bride sliding rails and yes these are bride where is it oh shoot this forward these are carbon fiber seats definitely cost a pretty penny so we have front bride vorgas and then we have custom made bride rear seats with authentic bride material so we have matching front and rear seats in bride and the headliner is also done in suede, including this piece right here. All done in suede, open light optics, got down with Q50 sun visors, also wrapped in suede, everything blacked out. And then of course they got down with the stars. Look at that. So you guys can hit them up for a quote on your car. I have the premium package, dual projector, so I get uh, two different colors and the suede, black suede. Definitely looks a plus. And they also painted the back pillars. So I have no more tan on anything. They also did wrap this bottom under section along with the center console right here and on over here they blacked this out and they did that in suede as well all right and then right here in the center console we have uh jdm double din pioneer touchscreen radio with apple carplay so you guys can mess around with that and then we have fitted customs airlift controller right here of course we do have airlift three-piece suspension but and then with this thing right here works out perfectly deletes the ashtray but gives you a better cleaner look for the center and then right here we have g37 carbon fiber steering wheel custom wired to work on the g35 so i could go through my maps and stuff like that on the cruise control haven't figured out the volume controllers but um cruise control actually works perfectly fine and carbon fiber steering wheel made by Jalisco's carbon fiber, flat bottom end, carbon fiber in the middle, carbon fiber thumb grips as well. And then we got the red uh, stitching and then the red stripe right here as well. So that's the steering wheel. And then I know a lot of people always ask about the custom uh, cluster right here. 
it was made by a guy that started scamming people unfortunately so i can't recommend them anymore i got mine sometime like three years ago yeah almost almost four years ago now so uh, i can't recommend them anymore because of the way he started uh treating people and like ignoring their calls and all that so uh unfortunately you know nobody can't really get these i don't know who does them but if you guys someone knows just comment below that does custom clusters like these and then of course we have masterpiece automotive carbon um cluster cover so this is just a cover made by uh, masterpiece automotive and it's just double side taped on and then I, I bought this during like an, in a bundle, so they get included this one as well. And also this was made by the same guy. Again, can't recommend them, but these Masterpiece Automotive. Uh, it was a bundle on a Black Friday sale. Masterpiece Automotive, High Lease Goes Carbon Fiber for the steering wheel. And then Fitted Customs for this. And then for the headliner, of course, Nice Stars, Light Optics. Hit them up for any suede and stars. But that is about it for the interior. We are going to be adding a lot more uh, Alcantara and carbon. It's including uh, all new door panels, rear panels. And uh, we also are going to be doing something on the more carbon fiber in the center, center dash on top. So it, it's going to be matching uh, carbon, suede, and Alcantara all throughout, all blacked out. So we're not going to have the red on the the red suede on the door panels anymore that's all gonna go move on into the engine base so you guys could check that out as well all right so i just had a little conversation with the police officer right there he was checking out the car and luckily you know they don't really bug me about any of this stuff here in town uh they see a lot a lot of the cars right there where i live so they don't really they, they see the cars and when they see me driving around they don't really bug me unless i you know like I'm probably gonna be driving stupid and maybe they'll like bug me about it. But other than that, they don't really say much. But right here, we have the engine bay. As you guys can see that, it looks kind of weird because you have the G37 front end, but uh, DE motor in it. <laughs> so it looks a little funky, but G37 front end conversion with DE motor. But as you guys can see, engine bay looks semi clean but definitely needs a lot more work for sure get the flash going so it actually stands out a little bit more but right here we have cosworth plenum with carbon fiber end caps and then we have polished throttle body oem throttle body and then we have uh faruki intake of course it looks pretty dirty right now i haven't polished the car up and ever since i came back from uh norcal for that show the, the miso fresh show but fruki intake cosworth plenum and then we have arc oil cap we have valve covers shout out to uh 3.8 car mods you guys could hit him up for valve covers as you guys can see that on both sides definitely gives it a, the engine bay a cleaner look and then we got a uh, polished timing cover that needs to be repolished because it's super dirty. I haven't cleaned it up, but polished timing cover, po uh, powder coated cam covers done by Bait Polish as well. Bait Polish powder coated and polished the timing covers and these solenoids. He polished these as well. He polished the Cosworth intake, of course. So he did all that. And then we have braided hoses, braided hose kit from uh custom engine base on instagram he, also the hardware for the timing cover and cam covers and everything so we don't use those ugly 10 millimeter bolts and then of course we did the uh wire tuck full wire tuck on the engine block itself uh jd did that a while ago and then uh we i am going to be doing more on the engine we might be getting polished uh valve covers actual aluminum uh polished valve covers we're going to be getting that we're going to be uh wire tucking the headlight harnesses as well and then getting rid of all these like random brackets and stuff that we don't need and then black painting everything black around the sides that way the engine bay itself sticks out more i do want to get another set of uh pulley brackets and pulleys so i could send those out to get chromed or uh polished 
So uh, it gives the engine bay an even more cleaner look. And then of course we have Mishimoto radiator and Mishimoto fans polished as well. You guys can hit up Outcast Garage for those. It definitely gives the engine bay a nicer look as well, depending on what angle you look at it from. We're also gonna be uh, probably hiding this uh, power steering reservoir tank in here as well, like hide it under, that way it gives it all a much cleaner look too as well. So we're gonna be wire tucking headlight harnesses, alternator harness, headlight harness on that side, hide that and then paint everything black, shave and tuck everything. So it's gonna look a lot nicer. So that is basically it guys, all the mods on the car but a lot more to come, new wheels, new color, uh, more interior parts, more engine work. Trunk setup, I don't have anything. I actually use my trunk and store a bunch of stuff in there. So I just have the tank and compressors thrown in there, but that is basically it. So that is going to be the end of today's video guys so that's it. this is a quick walk around and all the mods that i have on ruby currently and uh before i start tearing her down and start on version four but again thank you guys for always supporting the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one